Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS on a laptop in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. I'm gonna show you all the steps you can do to actually optimize your laptop and also something outside of your Windows, like something which you can literally straight up modify on your laptop, which will help you to gain more FPS. Just make sure to watch the video, guys, and it will all make sense. And afterwards, I'm also gonna show you the new best stretch resolution in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 for laptop players. So please stay tuned, guys. And if you wanna support my work, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any for ado, so let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, for this first part of today's video, I want to talk about something which I do believe is really overlooked by a majority of laptop players. Basically, a few friends of mine who play on laptops gave me this tip and I'm talking about a fan pad for underneath your laptop, guys. Trust me, these things cost maybe like 10 to $20 and you literally can take so much heat off your laptop, which is so, so super important because the number one factor for decreasing FPS is heat. And as we all know, guys, laptops usually don't have that great of cooling. I don't know, maybe like one or two fans on the side if you're lucky and already owning a gaming laptop, you know what I'm saying? Like on a normal one, you usually just have one small fan on the bottom left side and that's pretty much it so therefore guys please try to invest in one of these things and trust me it's gonna be such a game changer just simply find one which is gonna fit like more or less underneath your laptop and then just simply plug that in and you have like four extra fans which can keep your laptop really cool and therefore you're just gonna have more stable fps trust me these things are really worth it and yeah that's my first step here so far guys and let's continue with the next one and then yeah guys for this next step i want to show you something which i do believe a lot of people also don't know since the latest windows update we have like this new multimedia bar here on the bottom right side which actually puts huge workloads onto your RAM and I'm also going to show you some more steps you can do to just free up some more RAM and all you guys have to do is simply go into your Windows search bar and type in notification until you find notifications and auction settings just simply open it up guys and there you can see it already get notifications from apps and other senders just simply disable this one here guys in the first place and then afterwards what I want you to do is go into multitasking and there you can see right now here this new timeline shows suggestions in your timeline and this is exactly this new thing here on the bottom right side so therefore we're just gonna disable it here and we're just gonna free up again some more space guys and trust me especially on laptops where you're struggling with low RAM usage let's say like four or eight gigs of RAM uh, you definitely need to do this boys and then for the next one um, for shared experiences we of course also want to make sure to turn this off um, I'm just gonna read it out. Let's apps on other devices, including linked phones and tablets, open up messages on apps and on this device and vice versa. And pretty much, yeah, we don't need this guys. We're not gonna share any data. This is again, just the service running in the background, costing us important FPS and important RAM and just overall system power, which could be used for gaming. And yeah, once we're done with that, we're just gonna go afterwards into clipboard, which is also like another unnecessarily feature, which we don't need at all, guys. So please make sure to turn this off and then also clean your clipboard data. And yeah, once you're done with that, just simply close this window and we're done here with this optimization step as well. And then for the final step, before we get into the best stretch resolution for laptop players, guys, I just wanna show you another trick how to free up even more RAM on your Windows 10. And all you guys have to do is just simply type adjust into your Windows search bar until you find the adjust the appearance and performance of Windows tab and just simply open it up. And as you can see right now here guys, um, we can more or less adjust exactly how our windows should be looking, uh, if it should be adjusted for the best appearance, the best performance, or let windows decide what's the best for my computer. And obviously guys, I would recommend you always to go for just best performance. The only setting which I have still checked is show thumbnails instead of icons, because if you're yeah, like, I don't know, getting like some Fortnite clips or recording videos, it just doesn't show you like icon, you know, you can actually see like which clip it was. So therefore this is the only one which is like semi helpful and if we now move around here with this window you can see that we have no animations we have no preview while moving this window here around which is not really bothering me too much I don't know it's personal preference guys I'm just gonna free up so much more RAM on your system and just simply press apply then press ok and you applied the step here as well correctly and yeah guys now I'm also going to show you the best stretch resolution for laptop players to gain the maximum of FPS and decrease your input delay and since I read in the comment section that there are tons of people who don't have a 1080p screen guys I searched out the best stretch resolution for all laptops Literally it doesn't matter what screen you have you can literally apply this and the stretch resolution I'm talking about is 1245 times 768 and trust me guys this stretch resolution literally feels like native but it gives you such an insane FPS boost and we're just gonna try it out here in creative a little bit and then afterwards I'm obviously also gonna show you how to apply it and let's get straight into it so yeah guys and here we are right now in creative with this new best stretch resolution for laptop players enabled and I have to say it looks exactly like native like this is crazy actually and yeah guys, um, obviously also the input delay is super, super insanely low. You can see I can do literally everything here. Quad edits, I can do some high ground retakes. So let's try to go for some high ground retakes here real quick. And yeah, everything should work exactly as it should be, boys. 
And yeah, I have to say, <laughs> there's literally no input delay with this rest here, boys. This is literally really nice. And I think I can definitely say that I can recommend this switch resolution to everyone who's playing on laptop. I mean, it's just gonna boost the FPS, and in my opinion, it doesn't look too bad, especially if I take like a close look here to the edges, you can see, um, it's not too bad. Especially for like such a low res actually, like I mean 1220, yeah, yeah 1245, it is kind of low already, but it still looks decent, like yeah, I don't know, just take a look here, yeah, just take a look here at the edges and stuff like that, it's 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 not horrible, let's, let's say it like that boys. And now I'm going to show you how to actually get your hands on this new best stretch resolution for Fortnite laptop players, so stay tuned. And yeah guys, now I'm obviously also going to show you real quick how you can get your hands on this new best switch resolution and all you guys have to do is type in presenter 10 presenter into your Windows search bar and open up the first folder and then just simply go here on top on local, press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game, go into saved, config, Windows client and there you can already see your game user settings. But before we actually gonna change anything in our game user settings, please make sure to go into properties and just check that the attribute read only is unchecked. Afterwards, just simply double click onto your game user settings and open them up and scroll down a little bit until you find your resolution size. And there we have it guys, the resolution size X and Y and the last user confirmed resolution size X and Y. And obviously we have to apply it for both of these here. So for the X one, you just put in 1245 and for the Y resolution 768. And after you applied it here correctly for both of these resolutions, just simply go here into file and press save and you can close it then. And after after we're done with that guys, please again right click onto your game user settings and go into properties and make sure to put the check under attribute read only and press apply, press ok and now you successfully applied this new best stretch resolution for Fortnite laptop players. So guys and as a final tip I just want to mention that I already get tons of optimization videos on my channel whether it's the best competitive settings there are tons of stuff which you can also apply for your laptop. Um, I got all the videos showing you the best stretch resolutions for season 7 so maybe try out a different one or maybe even a more low scaled one but this is in my opinion like the best one which still looks kind of okay i also did like a video on the stretch rest which was like 1024 times 768 which is just gonna look a little bit worse but it might theoretically also give you more fps so yeah just simply check out the videos which are gonna be linked in the description also how to optimize your cpu to always utilize 100 percent of your cpu i got tons of tutorials guys just simply and if you guys have any more questions feel free to ask them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible i'm literally out here every single day guys answering hundreds of questions on youtube that's not a joke literally i'm trying to answer every single one and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace